Hi, and welcome back. Today we'll be playing another Zelda NES ROM hack. This one is The Awakening of Onyx. Uh, Storylines change just a bit. The usual thing, Princess Zelda has been kidnapped, have to defeat some big baddie, collect items, defeat the dungeon, yada yada yada. Uh, as always, this is a altered version of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, anyone who doesn't know about ROM hacks, the way you can get a hold of these are you can buy an original cartridge off eBay. Uh, some websites you can actually play this right on the site, or you can get a ROM hack which you combine with an original version of the game and it combines them and kind of spits out something like this. You kind of need a program like Lunar IPS to do something like that. So we're going to go ahead and put our name in and get started here. This is uh, going to be a bit more difficult than the original Zelda was. Use this when you cross, go across the river. So we have the boomerang. And what seems like a hint to find Dungeon 1. Now we're already ahead of where we were on our playthrough of Zelda Outlands. Seeing as we played through that entire game without ever finding the boomerang. But this time we're starting off with no sword. But we know that we need to cross this river to find Dungeon 1, so let's see what we have. Okay, this is not Dungeon 1, but we have 15 rupees starting us off. So let's continue on, see if we can locate Dungeon 1 and make some more progress. Uh, nothing so far. We just know that we're on the right side of the river. And that we got to do dodge these lovely Octoroths. So this might be it, or this might be a shop. We'll see. Luckily the boomerang allows us to walk through enemies. And we have Dungeon 1. So hopefully we can find a sword here. Otherwise this will be uh, an interesting dungeon. Not sure what kind of boss we can defeat using only the boomerang, but... Okay, so I'm guessing those are stealth boats and we can't really defeat them with the boomerang. We can probably stun them. Now I do like, um, it's kind of like they've updated the graphics in this version of the game. Kind of like they took some of them from uh, the Game Boy Color version. It's kind of like a mix of Zelda on NES um, combined with something like Link's Awakening. Okay, so we have a sword here. Apparently we can walk through the floor, which is unusual. I wonder if... Uh, this screen where it's the side view instead of the overhead was a little glitchy. Maybe that was on purpose, I don't know. We need to get some uh, some health going here or we're going to have our first death of this playthrough already. A few more rupees. Really hoping one of these guys will give us some health. Alright, we have the map. So far we're finding lots of uh, keys, 
open some of these doors up, but no map or uh, no health to help us out. One of these blocks has to be movable to open that door. Okay, we have some uh, garages here. They don't look the way they normally do. Kind of look more like a bull than anything now. some wall masters in this room which luckily give us some help. Thank you wall master. Oh, we, there was one left you can see in the wall by the door. So we're not going to be able to uh, move any blocks in that room. I bet you want to have more bombs. Bomb upgrade if we can get a hundred rupees for that. Alright, so we're good with health again. One of these blocks should move. There we go. Drawing from our experience a little bit with uh, Zelda Outlands here. Oh, we can walk right through the wall, too. Kind of renders the uh, ladders a little useless if we can just cut across the wall. Alright, so we don't have any doors here. Gotta figure out a way out of this room. I don't think we got any bombs. Can't walk through the walls. Huh, do we have to go back and look for bombs? Convinced we need bombs to get out of this room, but I haven't seen anyone drop any yet. Just trying to make sure it isn't a movable brick, but I don't think so. I guess we might have to go back and kill some enemies to get some bombs. We don't have to buy the bomb upgrade just to get bombs. That would be kind of interesting. You had to buy your first round of bombs. have any uh, walls we can walk through to find anything. There's gotta be something we're missing here.
This dungeon is way too easy to be stuck in. <laughs> 